Hello friends, uh, my name is Vishal and I am founder of findmytest.com. Today I am with a great personality who topped the exam in GATE 2023. So uh, now today we will ask a lot of questions related to uh, the preparation of uh, GATE 2023. So congratulations for achieving an amazing rank in GATE 2023 examination. Uh, what uh, May I know your good name? Um, thanks. First, uh, before the introducing myself, uh, thanks a lot for Mr. Vishal for calling me here to share my views for the upcoming experience. And I also want to thank your, your great initiative for making a channel between the conversation of a GATE ranker with a upcoming experiments because uh, this we cannot we will uh, we have not got this opportunity to got some ideas or some um, tips from our seniors so uh, thanks a lot yeah, okay. thank uh, so um, so now i will introduce myself uh, i am amit pande from um, iit delhi mainly i am doing my phd from iit delhi uh, i have scored ai1 in gate 223 from textile fiber and science subject great so um, uh, you told that you are pursuing your phd from iit delhi right yeah so yes. uh, where have you done your graduation or your engineering from uh, i have done my uh, starting it from the first uh, uh, before my graduation i have done a diploma in textile technology from government for mm -hmm. and thereafter i have joined my graduation from uttar pradesh textile technology institute kanpur Okay. Uh, as a natural entry and okay. after that i involved from the second year itself i was involved in the gate preparation and then i uh, okay. then i uh, after my gate 23 i joined amtech and i'm doing this so which paper of gate you appeared in uh, and what was your all india rank score and marks uh, i have uh, attempted in textile fiber and science subject uh, the code tf what we mentioned in the gate exam. Mm -hmm. uh, my AI, uh, my rank in gate 21 was AI 10th. Okay. And uh, I have I've also attended two more times for the gate in 2022 and 23. In 22, I got AI 12th rank. And now in this time, in 23, I got the AI. So, you were the first time, 10, 12, and now direct one. Pe aage. It's an amazing improvement. Wow. So uh, you attempted for uh, three times, like right? Yes, yes. So when did you decide that you want to attempt gate exam as serious career option? When did you started preparing for gate uh, twenty twenty one for the first time? Um, actually, uh, the purpose why I joined, uh, I got selected the job area for after my diploma that I wanted to be a teacher from the initial point of. View initial after doing my diploma after getting engaged in a textile or knowing about the textile my interest in textile got increased so at that time and i was also feeling that uh, something comes out from my inside that i should have to be a teacher wow. because i'm good in teaching i think so uh, right from that point of i choose that i have to take higher education for being a teacher so thereafter uh, i have not go for job after diploma i have joined graduation after literal from literal entry and then starting from my first uh, uh, we joined graduation from the literal entry at directly in the second year so from the uh, when i take the admission when i took the admission after six months only i started preparing for the gate amazing amazing and their point also i decided that i have to be a professor i have to continue my textile journey from to up to phd great great to hear uh, so Amit, आप बता पाएंगे कि आपने textile engineering ही क्यों अपना field चुना? You know, after JE, शायद आपने JE uh, crack किया होगा, उसके बाद ही आपको uh, textile मिला होगा. और काफी सारे options होते हैं, like computer science होता है. Majorly जो audience होती है, वो computer science की तरफ ही भागती है. Uh, majority जो है, mechanical engineering की तरफ भागती है. But आपने बिल्कुल leak से हट के काम किया. तो वो T F is the gate ka paper code hai, textile and fiber. So, why textile engineering ko hi kyun apna career option? What was the reason for it? First, sorry to say, I am not cracked J.E. exam. Okay. First thing, 
second, I'm also a moderate student up to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, because I'm not able to qualify J. Mm -hmm. And then I've also got such a good rank in UPTU so that I get a government college and uh, pursue my graduation. Um, there is some financial issue as well. And I'm also not that much good to, to get a government colleges. And mm -hmm. so I cannot also go for the private colleges. Mm -hmm. So that's why I choose to go for diploma. And uh, how I got the textile engineering, that's also a different story. Um, uh, whether at that time I think yeah. it was my bad luck, yeah. but you now should. I think that's my luckiest moment. Okay. God. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. I'm saying that uh, you can share your whole story. We have a lot of time now. <laughs> okay. So my journey starts after 12. Mm -hmm. uh, when I qualified my 12th exam, not that much, uh, very good percentage. Uh, I got 75, I think, CBSE, from the CBSE board. Okay. So I'm not able to qualify JE exam. And after that, uh, in UPT exam also, I'm not, I have not scored so much good rank to get a uh, government college. Mm -hmm. So uh, my financial conditions are not also so good so that I can join a private college and pursue my undergraduation or okay. I can go for the preparation of the exam. So uh, in order to uh, take my family responsibility and all, I have to go for a uh, job and I think at that time, the condition was not so good so that I can go for higher education or at that time of point. Uh, but after the first year of my diploma, uh, a pandemic happens, my father got expired oh my after God. that. Oh. And and you know, um, then my brother, Mr. Aspos Pandey, have uh, taken all the responsibilities and he has joined the job and he has taken all the responsibility of the family. And he uh, he suggested me and he said me the word of his, his words are uh, if you want to study, then please go and do whatever you want to do. So I also got a freedom of doing uh, what's my interest in. Uh, he have totally separated me from the family's responsibility and all. And he just suggested me to do whatever you want to do. So after that, I qualified uh, lateral entry exam and uh, I left the side of the job uh, this or uh, the way of uh, the what we can say. So I have many job talents for the and after I have joined uh, the way of uh, pursuing a higher education. And the lateral entry, I get that admission in uh, UPT, uh, UPTI Kanpu. It's a British digital technology institute, a, a well known college in Uttar Pradesh for textile. Mm -hmm. uh, there also, I have um, after the first year, after the second year, uh, after the sixth month, I I started hearing from the my seniors that they are preparing for gate exam. And there's a jump which can let you to go to join IITs. And so that you can pursue for the higher career and you can achieve, you can go for uh, your higher education or for PhD or for, uh, you can achieve higher positions in that. So uh, my dream was also to go for teaching as I said it earlier. So I uh, found that GATE exam is, and I'm also interested for the technical field. So I left CAT and I have joined GATE exam. And I found out the GATE is fittest for me. And then I started the preparation for the GATE. Mm. Wow. It's really nice. inspirational journey. Wow. And I'm very sad to know that uh, you lost your father in the pandemic. And I'm really sorry for that. So, आज अगर वो होते तो बहुत गर्व महसूस करते क्योंकि पेरेंट्स के लिए ये सबसे होती है बट जैसा तुमने बताया कि और जैसा कि तुमने बताया कि आशुतोष पांडे आपके बड़े भाई है राइट यस यस वो आज कितना गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रहे होंगे अपने आप को ये मैं फील कर सकता हूँ क्योंकि मैं भी एक बड़ा भाई हूँ सो ये बहुत बड़ी बात है एंड आई वुड लाइक टू मानता हूं कि आज मैं व्हाटएवर आई एम एबल टू अचीव दैट बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय ब्रदर एंड माय फैमिली एंड माय फादर ये चीज आप में है आप काफी अच्छे हैं इसलिए आप सबका 
सभी का यू you नो know, एहसान मानते हैं तो ये बहुत बड़ी बात है हम चाहते हैं कि आप आगे इसी तरह से सक्सेस आपको मिलती रहे और आपके परिवार को आप खुशियां देते रहें सो माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट वॉज द डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू और जैसा कि तुम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट में भी थे सो so, इन तीनों साल का अगर अपन देखें गेट का सो डिफिकल्टी लेवल क्या था इन तीनों ईयर्स का इफ आई कम्पेयर द गेट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी एग्जाम बट इट वॉज लिटिल लेटर टफर और लेसर टफर दैन टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू and 2022 what the um, iit have done that they have added uh, they, they have increased the difficulty level of course subjects mm -hmm. but have done uh, decreased the difficulty level of aptitude and math mm -hmm. and but what happens in the 2023 uh, there is a, a newer type of questions uh, msq type multiple selection type uh, that comes into picture uh, about 10 uh, 10 msq were asked in this gate 2022 the difficulty levels uh, rises from this to this <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. and so that's why the mate also got down in gate 2023 i don't uh, i think in gate 2021 the mate was around 38 for the general and in gate 2022 the mate was around 41 and in gate 2023 the mate drastically fall down to 25 Oh. So the the difficulty level of gate one twenty three was very high. Okay, so uh, Amit, जैसा कि gate का नाम सुनते ही सबको सामने आता है PSUs, IITs और एक बहुत higher education you know. So gate एक बहुत ही difficult exam में भी count किया जाता है. World के most top uh, top most difficulty exams में IIT का exam होता है. अपने UPSC, IAS का होता है. Uh, अपना गेट भी उसमें शामिल है काफी टफ पेपर माना जाता है सो जब गेट का नाम आता है तो बच्चों को तुरंत दिखता है कि कोचिंग कहाँ करनी है ट्यूशन कहाँ करना है टेस्ट सीरीज कहाँ लेनी है ये सब चीजें सब चीजें तो ऑप्शन अवेलेबल हैं उन सभी बच्चों के लिए जिनके पास फाइनेंशियली जिनकी फाइनेंशियली कंडीशन अच्छी होती है वो कहीं भी कोचिंग कर सकते हैं कितने भी टेस्ट सीरीज ले सकते हैं बट एक एवरेज परिवार या एक गरीब परिवार की अगर मैं बात करूं जो बच्चा अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकता फीस और उसके भी सपने तुम्हारी तरह ही हायर एजुकेशन के हैं सो so, क्या मतलब मैं उन बच्चों के लिए पूछना चाहता हूं उन सब के तरफ से मेरा एक क्वेश्चन है क्या गेट को क्रैक किया जा सकता है सिंगल डिजिट रैंक में बिना किसी कोचिंग या बिना किसी टेस्ट सीरीज के क्या ये पॉसिबल है सेल्फ स्टडीज के थ्रू बिल्कुल बिकॉज mm -hmm. जियो ने जो डाटा कम किया उसकी वजह से यूट्यूब स्टार्ट हुआ और यूट्यूब की वजह से मैथ एंड एप्टीट्यूड दे आर लॉट ऑफ लेक्चर अवेलेबल ऑन मैथ एंड एप्टीट्यूड इन यूट्यूब सो यू कैन प्रिपेयर मैथ एंड एप्टीट्यूड फ्रॉम दैट एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द को सब्जेक्ट नेपटेल नेपटेल कोर्सेस यू कैन फाइंड लॉट ऑफ नेपटेल कोर्सेस एंड प्लेंथर ऑफ नॉलेज It's a government the textile, thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's a government initiative. Yeah, NAPTEL courses. Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, after that I will uh, at, before the end I will list some courses of NAPTEL and some few books names uh, which the students can prefer for their preparation. But geo uh, kyaani ki wajah se after the geo comes when people know about the, how to use the internet, how mm -hmm. to use the sources which are available on the internet. Uh, काफी ईबुक्स लॉन्च हुई द व्हाट द डिफिकल्टी वी फील ड्यूरिंग आवर डिप्लोमा टाइम वी डू नॉट हैव एनी बुक टू स्टडी फॉर टेक्सटाइल वी वेंट टू कानपुर फ्रॉम माउ टू कानपुर वी वेंट देयर टू टेक फोटो स्टेट ऑफ द बुक्स या टेक कम बैक टू द टू शूट टू प्रिपेयर इट एंड दैट्स आल्सो द वी स्टडी द ग्रेजुएशन लेवल कोर्सेस ग्रेजुएशन लेवल बुक्स फॉर आवर डिप्लोमा द आवर डिप्लोमा हैव minimum little amount of course little bit of courses and for that preparing for that also we have to go through a lot of books right but now uh, for the gate i think uh, the ebooks are available naptel are doing a fantastic job and you have uh, for maths and aptitude you have a lot of lectures on your youtube so uh, as 
super neat. Uh, I think uh, whether you are financially weak or whether you are financially strong, uh, I think there are not so much difference, and you can easily achieve the single digit rank yet using napkin, uh, using uh, YouTube lectures for math and uh, aptitude, and using some ebooks uh, which which I can mention further uh, for your progression, especially mm -hmm. for the, uh, for textile and textile. Amazing. So uh, my next question is, uh, what are some important topics that should be specially focused by GATE TF aspirants? Uh, special topics. So uh, the textile syllabus in GATE exam is uh, mainly classified in various sub two subjects like yarn manufacturing, fabric manufacturing, uh, textile processing, and after that, knitting and bedding. Uh, the DR to inventing and trading are the newer subjects which are added to the syllabus. So uh, the amount of questions asked for from fiber science in day one fiber science subject also uh, textile fiber. So the amount of questions asked from the textile fiber and yarn manufacturing are higher than as compared to the questions asked in fabric manufacturing and knitting and uh, braiding questions. So before uh, preparing, before give, going to the exam, you have to decide first that which topic you have to go through in detail and which topic you have to just uh, not to go in much depth on of that. Because the questions which are about to ask from that subject are little basic or introductory part of only. Okay, okay. So uh, I think yarn manufacturing and textile fiber are the two subjects which mm -hmm. students have to follow more. Okay, so these two subjects are very important. Uh, to uh, at least qualify करने के लिए तो ये दो subject पढ़ने ही होंगे, right? हाँ, बिल्कुल बिल्कुल. So, uh, which books did you follow for gate preparation? Please name some very important जो books uh, पढ़नी ही चाहिए सभी बच्चों को. Yeah, uh, I will list some uh, books name uh, which you should have to follow, and I will also list some NAPTEL courses. Which uh, there are a lot of NAPTEL courses available on uh, NAPTEL for textile engineers, but uh, going through all that courses are very difficult because the lectures are very big. It consists of around 25 to 30 videos for each courses. So which courses you have to choose, which books you have to follow, that uh, you have to be a little concise for this. Uh, so I will take some name of some books for young manufacturing. Uh, you can go with uh, W Clean. The first one, W Clean. Second one, Call L, uh, Call A Lawrence. And the third one, New Spinning System from R. Chotopadhyay. Professor R. Chotopadhyay of IIT Delhi. Uh, for fabric manufacturing, uh, one can go with, uh, for winding and warping, you can go with Kalugda. Uh, second, for principle of woven fabric manufacturing, you can go uh, of uh, Professor Abjit Majumdar. Second. And the third one, is for the subtleness weaving from antique. You can go through these three books for preparation of your fabric fabric manufacturing part. For textile processing, uh, you can go uh, with RS Prayag for pre-treatment, RS Prayag for text, uh, textile printing and finishing, and uh, uh, chemical processing of textile for dyeing. Uh, so, so all the textile processing mainly consists of pre-treatment, dyeing, and printing and finishing. So you can go through the three, three books for preparing for textile processing. Uh, for knitting, uh, you can go for an Anubhami uh, for, of Antute. And uh, for, uh, uh, yes, you can follow on for the braiding, you can uh, you can go with the NAPTEL courses because there are only some basic introductory questions were asked for braiding. Uh, so now the time for the NAPTEL courses, mm, uh, no. One subject also left textile testing. That's also a very important subject. Uh, so you can follow J.E. Booth and one Nap and there is one NAPTEL courses which are preferable for the textile testing. So uh, for yarn manufacturing, the NAPTEL course is carding, uh, carding, draw frame and speed frame from Archie And the second course is speed frame, ring frame and advanced spinning from Archie uh, Woven fabric manufacturing, one and second from Abjit Majumdar for fabric manufacturing. Uh, third one is pre-treatment and uh, 
textile pre-treatment course uh, of wet processing of textile from Professor B. S. Bhutola. And uh, now for the textile testing evaluation of textile material from Professor Apurva Das. And, uh, and textile finishing uh, for, from Kusal Sen, Professor Kusal Sen. These are some courses available on Napkin, which uh, you can follow for getting a depth knowledge of the subject. Uh, which are necessary for uh, getting job. Perfect. And thank you so much for sharing these amazing uh, books name and all the details related to the gate preparation. So my next question, and it's very important question for uh, every student, exam ki preparation kar rao. Uh, hota kya ki apan preparation pure saal karte hain aur jaise exam nazdik aate hain apan पीछे की चीजें उठा के देखते हैं तो सब गायब होता रहता है सो so, ये चीज है ना रिवीजन स्ट्रेटजी अगर अपन बोलें कि तुम्हारी रिवीजन स्ट्रेटजी क्या थी कि तुम पूरे साल जो पढ़ाई कर रहे थे उसको भूल भी नहीं पा रहे थे और बिल्कुल वो याद भी था टाइम टू टाइम क्योंकि गेट का इतना बड़ा सिलेबस उसको याद रखना उसको टाइम टू टाइम रिवाइज करना ये रिवीजन स्ट्रेटजी क्या थी तुम्हारी थोड़ा सा रिवीजन स्ट्रेटजी के बारे में बताओ बेसिकली मैंने क्या मैंने जो फॉलो किया था I think some of maybe someone maybe have a conflict with that. But manage your follow kiya tha. Mera kiya tha ki mene, uh, before the three months from the gate exam, I have completed all my notes, all from the NAPTEL courses, from the ebooks, or uh, I have also done one tuition, uh, one coaching. So uh, I have also I have all done all the preparation, all my prepare all my notes from that uh, before the three months of the exam. And after the in, initial days of the three months, uh, or from the last three months, what I have done, uh, I have taken the um, gate papers from 1989 to 2023, uh, sorry, 22, uh, I think, for the gate one uh, From the page on site, www.textiletriangle.com. Uh, there you can easily get the papers from 1989 to 2022. So what I have gone through, I have distributed all the questions as per their subjects. Uh, for Yan manufacturing, these are the questions I have written down uh, and uh, written down the, all the questions in one copy in one my notes. And the, the, like that wise, I have uh, categorized each question into based on their subject. And right, and then I used to uh, see every question that uh, find out about the region of this answer. And if the question which uh, whose region are not uh, I'm not able to answer that regions and uh, that I used to find in the books or the from the research papers. Uh, there are some sites like Google Scholar, Web of Science that you can use for find, searching of your questions and you can easily get through the research papers. Uh, so I also followed that and I used uh, so I I used to uh, find out the regions for at least every questions, the correct region for each questions. Uh, which are asked in the gate exam and that will open my mind and that will uh, make my concept more clear toward the subject so i think that the person who you're preparing for start if someone is uh, now uh, now starting their on graduation part and so i will prefer that you start your uh, preparation from the second year itself now the gate had given an opportunity to give the gate exam in third year also. Yeah. So uh, that opportunity. So start preparing from the second year. Uh, first prepare the math and aptitude part that is most, most essential because the math and aptitude, that, that's only beside the rank, what you have obtained. Because uh, students what like to do that, uh, that they are preparing for math and exam before two or three months only. Mm -hmm. So the one the questions come, they focus more on the core part and, and they uh, do not contribute to the math and aptitude. And the one who have solved the math and aptitude part get the higher rank. Hmm. So you should have to focus math and aptitude equal to your core courses. You first have to prepare all the notes for the, from the second year starting point only. You can prepare all your notes, keep your notes with you. And before going for the third year exam, or for final year exam, before two to three months, revise your maths and aptitude. You do not have to prepare your notes at the last time before two or three months only. You have a notes within you and go uh, revise your notes 
with your notes from before the two and three months of the gate paper. So uh, the, likewise, you can prepare for the uh, your third year as well and final. Year. Great, good, good, good strategy you were following. And मुझे लगता है कि बच्चों को सभी ये आपने तुमने जो बताई strategies काफी काम करेंगे उनके लिए भी. So uh, ये तो बात रही ये ये बात रही revision strategy की. अब बात करते हैं कि अब जो क्वेश्चन मतलब एग्जाम हॉल में जब बैठते हैं अपन तो उस टाइम पे एक अलग ही बात होती है यू you नो know, मतलब आप पूरे साल टेस्ट सीरीज में कितना भी स्कोर कर रहे हो बट एग्जाम हॉल में जब पेपर सामने होता है तो सब बूम हो जाता है और कुछ टाइम अगर पहला क्वेश्चन ही वो हो जो आपको आता नहीं हो सो so, मुझे लगता है कि वो फिर पूरा ही तो तुम्हारी क्या स्ट्रेटी थी पेपर में क्वेश्चंस को अटेम्प्ट करने की कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट कर पाओ और सही क्वेश्चन तुम पहचान पाओ कि मेरे लायक कौन सा क्वेश्चन है वो गलत नहीं हो जाए सो so, वो स्ट्रेटेजी क्या थी उसके ऊपर थोड़ा सा बताओ क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट करने की अगर हम गेट एग्जाम की बात करें तो गेट एग्जाम से नॉलेज I got this. Hmm. Uh, so can you please revise your question? Yeah, uh, question. Uh, paper के time पे तुमने uh, exam के time पे questions को किस तरह hmm. attempt किया? Question attempting की जो strategy थी उसके लिए थोड़ा सा uh, students को बताओ. So basically मैं कह रहा था कि gate exam is not only about your knowledge. Gate exam is also about your how you handle the uh, situation. and what's your mindset and how concentrated you are uh, your, uh, toward your questions because gate exam play karta hai units ke sath uh, there are some silly mistakes which uh, we usually do to lose our mark to lose our marks so uh, gate exam jaane se pehle hame time management dekhna hota hai ki uh, ho sakta hai ki jab hum paper khole pehle hi hamare paas do number ka second two marks ka question hamara open ho jaye So, uh, हम हेड एक नॉलेज का कि वो क्वेश्चन हम पढ़े और हमें आता ही ना हो तो फिर हम ये कि ये पहला ही क्वेश्चन आता है हमें मोर देन फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स वी स्पेंड ऑन दैट क्वेश्चन सो सबसे पहले uh, मैं क्या करता था मेनली वी गॉट वन एट्टी मिनट्स फॉर गेट एग्जाम थ्री आवर्स आई थिंक एंड दे आर सिक्सटी फाइव क्वेश्चन अवेलेबल इन द गेट एग्जाम सो आई सो अप्रोक्सीमेटली वी गॉट अराउंड थ्री मिनट्स फॉर इच क्वेश्चन so uh, there are also one mark question there are also two mark question so what i usually used to do i uh, give one or two minutes for one mark question i give three to five minutes for uh, two marks question and if i uh, in that period of time if i got the answer i will take it otherwise i keep for the mark for review and move ahead and so the time management is very essential because uh, i have seen a lot of my friends to lose their marks in that Time management. The law. They do not get the opportunity to mark the answers of some question because of uh, their uh, poor time management problems. So uh, time management is one thing, and the other thing is the. Uh, so basically, what we do, the questions are asked to answer in. Uh, I'm talking about the. the questions were asked in such a way uh, that the answers should be kept in a particular unit let for example centimeter per minute or meter per minute but what we do in a hurry that we got the answer in meter per minute and we keep the same answer there and we think that uh, we have done correctly and when we are going uh, after coming from the exam we match and we say that yeah this is correct but when the answer sheet comes we found out that we have done it that silly mistake The concentration, your concentration toward that exam is very important. Uh, toward the your questions are very important. That toward the unit they have used, they have also put one thing. Uh, they are the number of decimal places. If they have asked for the uh, two number of decimal places and you give your answer in one number of decimal place, that you you can use your mark there also. So these are some silly mistakes which people used to do. I have also done sometimes, uh, unfortunately, in my gate twenty one and twenty two exams. Uh, so 
Bijal from Selling District, and people used to do. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, 21 may all India rank first, or tumare kitne marks ka difference tha? Uh, you are you are muted. Uh, unmute karo usko ek bar. Uh, uh, I got 74 and uh, Tanisk Avasti, uh, my classmate, he got uh, 79 marks, 79.37. So, uh, we have a five marks uh, Yeah, they are my classmates. Okay. What happens is I, uh, I have done some mistakes in mathematics and aptitude and his mathematics and aptitude are good. He's good. So he got more marks. Than so, so, wo best friend tha tumhara ya phir thik hai ek dost, ek classmate tha. Yeah. We are classmates. We are classmates. Okay. If best friend, we are good friends. Then that's the thing. So it's all right. So now you have a lot of good strategies, a lot of good ways to get a good rank in the gate. And in your way, you have done it three times. And in those three times, you have made changes. और जब जाके तुम ऑल इंडिया रैंक फर्स्ट लाए बट तीनों बार में तुम्हारी दोनों बार में लास्ट टाइम पे कोई बुरी रैंक नहीं थी आ, कोई भी स्टूडेंट अगर 30 टॉप 50 में भी रैंक हासिल करता है तो उसके लिए काफी सारे ऑप्शंस होते हैं इवन आई थिंक टीएफ में तो टॉप 100 में भी अगर आते हैं तो भी काफी सारे ऑप्शंस होते हैं सो so, तीनों बार में बहुत अच्छा किया उम्मीद है कि अमित की ये वीडियो देख के आप सभी कुछ ना कुछ सीखेंगे और आपके एग्जाम गेट 24 में काफी अच्छी रैंक आप लाएंगे so Amit, uh, oh, I, session ko close I want to say two lines to all the students who are listening. Please, please. First, never, never hesitate to do hard work. Never try to find out the shortcuts. And uh, the second line that uh, there is no shortcuts in your success. You have to do the hard work. You have for achieving something, for achieving a good rank, you have to give your time. Yeah. Shortcut to all the best to their upcoming aspirants. Yeah, thank you so much, Amit, for giving your valuable time. And once again, congratulations to you and your family. And I hope that you will be able to do it every day. Thank you so much, once again. Thanks a lot.